Ooh, well, good morning, everyone. From Bossier City, Louisiana, and the Margaritaville Hotel and Casino parking lot where we boondocked last night. It's April 21st. It's about 6.30 in the morning, and it is cold outside. We weren't expecting it to get this cold here in uh, Louisiana. I mean, we are in North Louisiana, but it got down in the 50s. I think it was colder than that because it got cold. Uh, today, we're going to stop number two, and that's in Bowie, Texas. So we got a pretty long haul. Probably won't make any stops on the way, maybe a fuel stop. I think I got enough gas to make it there. It's like 230, 240 miles, so I think I can get there on one tank of gas. It's going to be kind of a long haul. We got to go through to Dallas, uh, Fort Worth Metroplex. So we're going to, that's why I kind of wanted to do this. It's a Sunday. I wanted to kind of do this stretch on a Sunday. That way I was going through Dallas on a weekend and not during the week because traffic there is crazy. But while I got you guys here, if y'all could hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. It would help us out so much. And, you know, you guys are going to want to come along with us because this is just day two in our journey to Cody, Wyoming, where I'll be work camping at the Cody KOA for the summer season. And Cody is a gateway city to the east entrance of Yellowstone, where we'll be having adventures all in Yellowstone National Park all summer long. And that's why this season's called Yellowstone Summer of Adventure 2020. 24 so that's enough from here i need a monster and we need to get on the road i'm gonna get my monster and we're gonna get this thing on the road enjoy the road trip we made it to stop number two Bowie Texas and Pelham Park problem is we're not staying here we're doing a quick turnaround and we're headed to Dumas Texas today because tomorrow the wind forecast is ridiculous in Dumas we're talking they're saying 20 to 30 mile an hour winds with wind gusts occasionally over 40 25 to 30 will cause me to lose control of the RV. 30 will roll me over and 40, I don't even want to think about that. But here at Pelham Park is the home to the world's largest Bowie knife. I'm gonna show you guys that and then I'm gonna show you why we come here to Pelham Park. Here's a sign right here for the world's largest Bowie knife. And the shot of park and there it is kind of a kitschy touristy thing but there it is the world's largest buoy knife pretty cool and i'm going to show you guys why we stay here because we learn that texas has several city parks that actually have donation RV sites in them. That's right, and this one actually happens to have power and water, 30 amp and 50 amp power and water. And I'm gonna jump in the truck, I'm gonna go into the park and show you that little RV section. All right, I'm actually pulling into the park now and I'm gonna take you guys back and show you this little RV section. It's really nice. Like I said, it's got power and water, and there's a dump station here. So if you guys need to get off the road and you need a little overnight spot and you want hookups, this is where you need to come, and it's donation only. They got, uh, it, they got a little donation box up there, five, 10 bucks, whatever you can spare, slip it in the box, and you have hookups for the night. Let me go ahead and turn this camera. Really nice dump station. It looks like they've updated it since we were here last year. And there's your donation box. 
and it's just a little circle driveway there's one of the sites over there we go this way so you guys are actually on the camera side and it looks like there's 10 sites here is first come first serve the sites are uh, semi okay they're not bad but hey it's donation you know five bucks ten bucks whatever you can afford they have garbage cans it's super clean they keep it clean uh, my rig is 36 feet 36 6 pretty much 37 and I'm able to fit into a couple of these so it is also big big rig friendly a couple of these sites but it's just a little circle kind of cul-de-sac thing and uh it's a really great place to stay if you, you know, like i said if you need hookups for a night and, or two and you want to rest up this is the site we actually stayed in a year ago when we were here really long site real easy to back into that's the pedestal right there it was site number two we stayed in power and water unless they disconnected the water nope the water's still there if you need a place to stay like i said pelham park Bowie, texas this is where we come it's a cheap inexpensive place to get off the road for a night instead of going pay 40 50 bucks in the rv park but that's it for the update i gotta get back to the rv just got finished getting some fuel i went ahead and disconnected let carrie and faith kind of get a little lunch and all that but i gotta get back hook up real quick and get back on the road because we got another four hours to do this and it's gonna be a long day for me i think it's gonna end up being a total of about a nine hour drive day i hate doing that but in order for us to stay on track and uh, stay on schedule i gotta double up today i gotta do days two and three in one day and then tomorrow we'll have to leave dumas at like five o'clock in the morning and i'm gonna be driving at night which uh, it's another thing i don't like doing but we're trying to beat the wind uh at about five in the morning it's kind of normal winds for that area it's like uh 10 to 15 and then it goes from 15 to 20 and then by eight o'clock that's when it goes to 20 to 25 if we get a start like five in the morning by the time the winds get to kind of the pucker factor stage we'll be out of there because the next stop is raton new mexico and so far the winds for raton are like lighter than they normally are there so and then we're out of there and then it's on to colorado springs but that's it i'm gonna hook up and we'll jump back on the road with some more road tripping made it to Dumas, Texas and uh, I'm exhausted. I just broke a record for driving. Uh, last time this happened uh, was going to from from Quana, Texas to uh, to to Santa Fe and Santa Fe the next day it was going to be two days and the next day the winds were going to be horrible. This is the situation, like I explained in Bowie. Uh, we weren't supposed to be getting to, to Dumas until like today, tonight was supposed to be staying a night in Bowie. And then tomorrow night was where we're at now in Dumas, Texas. But the winds tomorrow in this area headed to New Mexico. Tomorrow we're, we're gonna go to the Springs. But starting at about eight o'clock in the morning, the winds are gonna be 20 to 30 mile an hour with over 40 mile an hour wind gusts. That's just too much for an RV. And usually at about 25 to 30, that's when they start 
shutting down trucks that's when you'll see big rigs pulling over on the side of the road and they're not going any further because when you start getting around 30 miles an hour and 40 miles an hour that's rollover winds it'll cause you to lose control and you'll actually roll over and we're not playing with that so and i just did two days in one i just drove probably 11 to 12 hours and went from Bossier City all the way to Dumas, Texas. And uh, I am mentally and physically just exhausted. And we have two options now. We made up a day. So we can leave early, 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 like 5 a.m. And the winds at 5 a.m. are only like five to 10 or 10 to 15, the, the winds are fine. They're manage, manageable. But by eight o'clock, they start kicking up to where they're not. We can get on the road early and try to beat the wind and get out because Rattan in New Mexico, the winds are light and variable. They're maybe five to 10 miles an hour, which is unusual for Rattan because Rattan is usually 10 to, you know, 10 to 15 usually about average so the winds in Rattan are very light the the winds in Trinidad are light it's just tomorrow is just the winds here so we figure if maybe we leave at 5 a.m we can get out of this area before the winds hit because when if we're rolling at 5 a.m we'll be practically we should be in Rattan within three hours we'll be in Rattan almost almost to Trinidad uh so we'll be out of this area before it gets bad so it's either leave super early and try to beat the wind or just stay here and ride it out and we'd still be on schedule and i think day after tomorrow uh the winds are not bad at all getting out of here so not sure we're thinking maybe we'll leave early and try to beat the wind it just depends on how tired i am i really don't want to kind of risk anything you know leave super early and i'm tired and groggy and then maybe i'm not sure but you guys tune in tomorrow to find out but that's it from here uh texoma park it's a city park in dumas texas and just like Bowie, they have hookups here. But Bowie had power and water here. There's just power. And I'm gonna spin this camera around and give y'all a little view of this. This is another place where you guys can stay. It's a donation park. I'm not sure where the donation box is. I think it's up toward like the swings and all that. And they have some restrooms. But this is another very inexpensive place you guys can stay for the night to get off the road. So let me spin around and show you. And the sun's going down so it's a little dark, but these are all the little pedestals right here. And they're sister sites. So we're facing this way. Another RV can come in facing this way and we share the same pedestal. But uh, it's 30 amp, 50 amp power. There's no water, no sewage, but at least you have power. And we're gonna go over here to the little park. I think over there is the donation box where you can drop some money. And right there is an actual RV park. So pass up the RV park to get here. Yeah, there's a donation box right over there and the dumpster for your stuff and bathrooms. But that's enough of me vlogging for this. I am beat, I'm whipped. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. If you got any value out of this, if you like what you saw, the, the city parks we showed y'all that are pretty much free or donation, uh, Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. But that's it. I'm going to go inside and totally just crash out. And I guess you'll have to tune into the next video to see what we did. If we sat here and waited out the winds or if we left early and tried to beat the winds. That's it for now.
like we say in Louisiana, laissez les bon temps rouler. Let the good times roll. Thanks for watching, and I'm going crash. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. I've never been known for my cautious side. You should know that I'm well aware. I don't want any.